just admiring how white this lipstick makes my teeth look. It's like it's erasing years of coffee and red wine. guys and dolls, welcome back. I am super excited about today's video. I kind of came up with this concept yesterday when I literally had no time to get ready and I thought, you know what, this would make such a great video because there's so many times where we don't have time in the morning. Maybe something happened with your kid and you're running late now. Maybe you overslept. Maybe you got invited to something last minute and you're like, oh crap, I gotta get ready. We have got to get glam fast and you've got to have a couple of looks in your arsenal. We can use some smoke and mirrors to maybe hide something that we really don't have time to attend to. Before we get started, I just want to say hello to anyone who's new to my channel. My name is Cora, and if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be in for a treat. I do all kinds of makeup tutorials, fashion, all kinds of stuff I know you're going to love. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, I started with my hair. Now, I did some of this off camera because I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. My hair actually looks pretty decent now, but it didn't look all that decent when I first woke up. Um, I had horrible bed head. It was very frizzy. I washed it last night without blow drying it. So I woke up with Frizz City. So what I did to combat the frizz is I used a, I, think, I believe this is called a blow dry brush or sometimes a, a hot brush, I don't know exactly. This was a gift with purchase when I bought a different blow dryer. Um, and so what I did was I just ran this through my hair and sort of flipped it up and curled it around and that's why it's got this cute little flip up and it's nice and smooth now, all of the frizziness is gone. The reason I prefer using this over a blow dryer is that a blow dryer makes a lot of noise. So in the morning if I'm not trying to wake anyone up, this is really great to use. And I like using this over a flat iron because because it's a lot less direct heat. There's also a lot less friction with this versus using something like a flat iron which clamps your hair and rubs and scrapes and that's it's a hair color killer and nobody loves the hair color killer. Pretty impressed with this gift with purchase uh, and again this is called a hot brush or a blow dry brush. It even has a swivel cord. Pretty nice for a gift with purchase. So the next thing I did is spraying just a little bit of dry shampoo through my roots. This is my favorite from the drugstore. It's the Herbal Essences Naked. So your next step is to take a hair scarf. Now I got this one at Walgreens kind of long. I can't even show you the whole thing in the camera frame, but it's really lovely, kind of a chiffon fabric. But in order to do this hairstyle, which is insanely easy, I'm going to first clip my hair back with a little claw clip just to get it out of my way and kind of have my hair however I want it parted underneath the headband. So next I'm going to take the scarf and I like this little rose here to be placed about there. It kind of gives me a marker for where I'm going to place the tie and then I'll gather it up at the back of my head and I am covering my ears a bit with this style today, so I just want to make sure that's just slightly off my eyebrows, that way my eyebrows are still visible because it's kind of looks a little weird without the eyebrows. Next, I am going to pull this around and just do a quick tie. Like that. You can fuss with a little if you'd like. Make sure that I have it off my brows but on the ears and then just let your hair go. It's a very simple way to have very tidy looking hair in a jiffy. For foundation today, I'm going to be using one from Hourglass, their new Vanish foundation is absolutely fantastic. Now I've been using the shade Porcelain, but I think that Porcelain's a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to go ahead and test out the shade Vanilla right before your very eyes. This is the very, see look, brand new. Brand new foundation. I'm so excited. That we're reunited. I'm also going to use the brush that is like the companion product to this foundation, which I have not yet used. I'm peeling it, peeling it open for the first time right before your very eyes. Ah, there we go. Satisfying. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and what I like about this foundation is the triangular shape. Now, it also means that you don't get a lot of product. You only get like a quarter of an ounce of product. <laughs> totally freaking lame. However, um, I like the triangular shape of it. It just kind of looks cute as you're dotting it on your face. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying it just generally where I feel like I'm going to need coverage. Like this. And I'm applying this relatively light because again, this is like a fast look. We can go ahead and pull this up just now. And I'm going to use the Vanish brush to blend it in. using little buffing lotions. This has excellent coverage, but it can also be sheared out. So you can see, while I have dotted on a lot of places, it's not a lot of product. It is a very sheer application. It's going to give me something like a little bit elevated from a tinted moisturizer. This color does match for you all. Yay! I'm just buffing that in. 
and I do like to blend it down. My neck is such a vastly different color than my face. It's so much lighter. Then I find if I try to like match my face to my neck, then it just looks like I put on the wrong shade of foundation. Just one moment, I'm getting a call. Casco Optical One to let me know that my glasses are available for pickup. Yes! I've tried this foundation with multiple other brushes since obvi obviously this is the first time I've opened <laughs> this brush up and I've been using the vanilla shade. I've been using it with a London Brush Company brush as well as just a beauty blender. And this foundation is kind of miraculous. It really truly can be like light coverage like this. It can be full coverage if you want it. So what I'm going to do now is let this do double duty. I'm going to apply it a bit more heavily underneath my eyes and I have a little zit here which I'm calling the Mrs. Darling if you know what I'm talking about from Clarissa Explains It All. Her mother had a mole on her chin which as a kid I always thought was kind of sexy. I thought it was beautiful. Now I think it's sexy. It's like Kim Cattrall. But it's not a mole. It's a zit so it can go right the heck to foundation land. Bop 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 under the eye with this. And then what I'll do is I'll just sweep over my lids. There's not like a ton of product going on but there is a little bit of evening out of the skin tone because I do tend to have kind of reddish veiny eyelids and I'm not doing this in you know a mirror that's up close I've got my my vanity mirror a bit further away from me because the idea is, is kind of simulating that quick makeup that you can even do in the car or something so next I'm going to do blush this is songbird by Becca I actually bought this because uh, I saw Kimberly Clark's video and she's a picky queen so I thought okay if she thinks it's beautiful it might be worth my money it's quite lovely so I'm gonna place that on the apples of my cheeks and I'm using a Wayne Goss what in the heck this is a Wayne Goss 2 brush really just maybe a little heavy-handed with it but you know and that's okay, we have a contingency plan. I'm going to be applying my powder over this today. So it almost kind of give me a little bit of a lip from within look. And, uh, ooh, dolly cheek, how you doing? Scary. So next order of business is my powder. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder because the texture is like beautiful. If you're looking for something less expensive but with actually a little bit more coverage but also gives your skin a lovely finish, Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural has been one of my go-to powders for years probably longer than I care to admit. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this first on my nose, get rid of any shine there. And you can see as I'm doing this in live time, this really doesn't add any color per se. It just really takes the shine out of your skin. But look at what that just did. Shut up. I mean, was that not like magic? You can see, now it's like a respectable amount of too much blush. One thing I always take time to do when I can remember is fill in my freckle because it takes about a second. Done. The next thing is my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are a totally different color from my hair because my natural hair color is an ash brown and my hair is like a coppery pink. I don't even know what you'd call this color. So one thing I like to do when I don't have a lot of time, I just need to really quickly fill them in, is use a really great brow gel. Now this one is from Senna Cosmetics. I picked this up at the makeup show. This is in golden brown, which to my eye has a little bit of a reddish gold tone. A bit of shimmer to it, which is going to help to mimic the natural shine of natural brows. This also has a bit of fibers in it, so it helps to fill in when your brows are a little bit on the sparse side. I'm just gonna go ahead and run that over and it just gives me a little bit of warmth to the brow do you see it's a very subtle difference but it only takes a second when it comes to really quick glamour I'm a big fan of sunglasses I wear them in the daytime constantly anyway so there's really no point in like d taking the time to put on a whole bunch of eyeshadow I am however going to take the time with mascara the DJV Murray volume lash this is a replacement of the uh, the Imju fiber wig that was sold for years beautiful formula great latex tubing mascara that will come off with warm water but will not cry smudge flake whatever um, and it has little fibers in it which also help to enhance your lashes. If you're not a big fan of blush, you could always do bronzer or whatever th type of thing, but the main point here is you don't have to do highlight and contour every single day, especially for a quick look. I just don't see the point. So now for the final piece of the puzzle, red lipstick has been my go-to simple get glam quick trick forever, probably going back more than 10 years. I just love it. It's perfect. It just gets the job done. But some red lipsticks can be kind of tricky to work with. One that I find is perfect every single time is ColourPop's Trust Me. It's their little lip pencil thing, a uh, little lipstick, lippy stick is what they call it. Trust Me, it's the Matte X formula. It's incredibly matte. It just feels like nothing is even on your lips. It's very effortless to wear. Now it's time for my favorite glamour trick, which is a killer pair of sunglasses. These are absolutely fabulous. I got these from Choice.com. 
one of my favorite places to get fun, funky sunglasses. Another benefit of wearing a scarf when you're wearing sunglasses, I don't know if you ever do this, but I always put my sunglasses up here. Like when I walk into a shop or whatever, I don't want to be rude and wear my sunglasses inside. So I always stick them up here on the top of my head, but oftentimes if I have a hairstyle or something, the little nose pads of my glasses will get stuck in my hair. But with a scarf, it doesn't happen. Hey kiddos, let me give you some bonus tips. So when you are folding your scarf over when you're or when you're tying it on, when you lay it on your head, you want to pull the front ones towards the back and make sure that they're the ones that are securing it down because this will make it lay a little bit flatter in the back because it's almost sort of like tucked in. Do you see what I'm saying? And then when you pull it around, you'll do just the same as before. Tie it in the knot. You could even tie it a little sloppier. Sometimes I tie it where it looks almost like a little rosette or something. It doesn't really matter that much. And then I, I do like this folded down. You can also have a couple little hairs poking out if you'd like. Little alternative. Makes it lay down a little bit nicer in the back. Slip those bad boys on. I will then tuck the scarf over my ears. I just think it's a little more chic that way. And I'm ready for the day. The entire makeup look fits inside a makeup bag. So I have my makeup bag here, which I always have a couple things in it. I've got hand cream and hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, that was really an awkward inflection there. Whatever. Um, got your foundation, your powder, powder and blush brush, your blush, your lipstick, your eyebrow stuff, your mascara, and is that it? Oh, and the foundation brush. I guess that is it. So that all fits quite easily into a makeup bag. So if you have to do this on the run, you absolutely can. This is not something where you need a whole bunch of different tools that you may have left at home. It all fits quite easily in a bag. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I know how it can be when you're rushed and you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. I have a lot of these quick looks kind of saved up in my arsenal. So if you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comments and I will try to make these happen. And maybe we'll make this like an official series like Glam in 5 or Quick quick glam or I don't know maybe you guys can even help me come up with a name for it that would be great um, just kind of like five to ten minute videos of quick glamour looks that are easy to pull off in a jiffy I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you would like to see more videos don't forget to subscribe or to see my previous video which is a fabulous fashion haul including this great dress and until next time remember to be vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful